video on crack concepts so in this video i will be talking about lead and lag function these are window functions and in my previous video i had discussed the ranking function such as rank dense rank and row number so do check that video out also if you want to understand those functions now let's begin with lead and lag function okay so let me show you all the table that i will be using today it is a simple employees table okay which has employee id employee name address department id department name and salary now uh, let's begin with understanding the lead and lag function okay so uh, okay it is quite similar to the ranking functions too so do check that video out okay now i'm going to use lead over partition by so what uh, i mean which column are you going to use to partition your output so i will be using department id okay order by salary descending order okay and lead and i have to write some column over here i will write employee id i will uh, explain this in just a bit okay also let me write lead over here okay so these are the employees now select star so all the uh, all the columns from the employee table will be selected so all the columns are selected then we have this expression which is called as lead so we have written over here lead okay and this is the expression so first of all what we are doing lead employee id over partition by department id uh, order by salary descending so first let's understand this so first firstly we are going to divide our output okay into partitions okay and these partitions will be on the basis of department id so all the rows or all the employees that have the same department id will be in the same partition so as you can see this is our first partition all the department all the employees in department one are, are in first partition then this is the second partition and this is the third partition so we have three partitions so all the employees in the same department will be in the same partition okay now this is our partition partitioning is done and then uh, once the partitioning is done then we are going to order them by salary in the descending order so as you can see uh, so in each partition so this is the first partition the first three rows and they are in the descending order the salary is in descending order then these two these two are um, these two are our employees from the second department so here also salary is in descending order and similarly the third partition here also the salary is in descending order okay so this is done after that what is lead lead employee id so what is this going to do once the partitioning and everything is done lead will do okay will print what employee ids because we have written over here employee ids employee ids lead lead means after that okay so which is the employee after the current employee in the partition so as you can see here this is the first partition these three employees are in the same partition so for the first row which is the next employee id 101 so 101 will be here okay so 101 will be the output over here for the second row what is what is the lead employee id what is the next employee id in the partition it is 109 so 109 will be the output and this is the last employee what is the employee after this which employee id is there after this employee i employee in the partition no employee there is no employee hence null will be over here okay then we have this is the second partition so it will be different for different partitions now in the second partition what is the next employee for this 103 so 103 is the output now as you can see over here 106 then 107 10 let let me do one thing okay so let me do one thing department id employee id okay so this is the partition 101 this is these are the employee ids 108 101 109 so lead will print 101 then 109 this is the second partition then then the next employee will be printed over here now this is the third partition so 107 104 105 so this is our output now lag is just the opposite of lead okay 
here the previous previous employee id will be printed okay now as you can see over here so for the this is the first partition which is the employee id prior to this employee id in this partition no employee hence it will be null then it is which employee is there uh, before this employee 108 so 108 will be the output then 101 okay so uh, this is the second partition and uh, and hence the first row will be empty because there is no employee before that and then here there will be 102 and then here the second partition uh, is over then the third partition starts and similarly it's the same thing okay okay uh, also one more thing you can give an uh, so that uh, you can add two more two more parameters in this function okay one is offset and the third is the default value so offset means by default it is one but you can also change it okay if you write two over here so two employees uh, after or previous to that employee will be printed okay according to the function you are using so if you are using lead then the then the employee id after two uh, two positions will be printed and if it is lag then previously i mean uh, the employee id that is two uh, two places behind will be printed in in case of lag okay and then okay i'm going to keep that as null and i'm going to print the default value so default value means what will be the default value as you can see there are many null values of your null because there are no employees prior or uh, after that so it's going to be null over there if you want to give some default value you can do that as well so mm -hmm. hmm. so as you can see over here the null values have been replaced by zero so this is the default value so if there is no value in the lead function if there is no value that is coming from this expression the default value will be taken as zero okay if i write two over here and the default value as say three 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 and run now as you can see all the empty values will be three to three okay got it and the offset i have given as two okay. So this is lead and lag function. I hope you all understood this and if this video helped you all, please do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel to support me. Thank you so much for watching this video.